Are we ready? Right, ready? Today we have our Science Squad festival going on. Ready? Ready guys? Three, two, one! Our eighth grade students have been working for a month to prepare exhibits to teach science lessons to all of the third grade elementary students in our feeder area. All the Newton's laws and potential kinetic energy. We have physical science in the form of chemistry, such as running a battery off of a lemon and lighting an electrical light with that, um, showing the elasticity of surface area of a balloon um, by puncturing it with a skewer without making it pop. We have uh, students who used physics to design a hovercraft that actually can carry a third grader across the floor. All the little kids love it and they get to ride in it and it's very fun. This one, there was a meteor probably about this big when it finally got to Earth. And drop it. There are tons of, tons of incredibly creative projects here today. I could keep going on and on. <laughs> this follows the PBL project-based learning model. With the bubbles, there's molecules in them, and we're trying to teach the kids that whenever something interrupts the molecules, all of them break apart. This is authentic learning on a project um, that requires students to collaborate within their groups to be able to communicate the lesson to third graders, creatively design it. We're explaining how uh, a chemical change occurs in a marshmallow when you heat it up. They brainstorm to anticipate the questions third graders might ask them and how to answer them. Maybe next time they go camping they make s'mores, uh, they can maybe tell their parents, hey, uh, chemical change is happening when we're cooking the marshmallows. They're putting forth the effort and everything that they've learned throughout the entire school year. It's about Bernoulli's principle. In an authentic assessment. So the air under it is uh, keeping the airplane so it can glide through the air. If we try to do just a typical pen and paper unit test, we have so many students who would be tuned out from that that it wouldn't be a very good gauge of what they've learned. On the count of five, we'll start this tornado. Ready? This is extremely reliable. You know how it makes a noise? Five, five four, four, three. Two, one, tornadoes! It grabs attention a little bit better than a textbook and a piece of paper and a pen. It has more memories than just knowing words and definitions. Yeah. So it's more memorable. So we're going to go right here. It helps me because I'm more of a hands-on learner, so this helps me get hands-on and experience more. It's really more of the, the way we like to see our assessments continue to develop in more performance-based. I think it's a really fun project. I have high school students, my former students, coming back and saying, are you doing Science Squad again this year? It was the coolest project I've ever done. That's why our third grade teachers at all our feeder elementaries are always willing to come back and anticipate this is an annual event. This is our fifth year. It's evolved over the years and become bigger and better every year.